Hello everyone, it's good to see too many people. Uh, it's no secret web applications have grown in complexity in the previous few years. And one of the topics that's very hot and is back on the table is about server-side rendering. Uh, there are many tutorials out there, there are many talks explaining on how you can achieve server-side rendering. But the question here is, should you have it? Do you really need it? So along with this five or six minutes, uh, let's, I want to share some thoughts with you on, my, on why you might want to have it. So whenever we talk about server-side rendering, the first thing that comes to our mind is ser search engine optimization. And in fact, this is true, because for many reasons, people want their website to be well ranked, ranked on Google or Bing, whatever. And one thing that happens on a client-side render application is that crawlers are not able to see, to fetch your content. And basically, this is what they see, nothing. Um, although Google is trying really hard to index content generated on the client side, it's important to take into account that search on Google represents only 77%. So, well, there are 23% of people who might never be able to find your content, so you might be leaving money on the table. Uh, another thing that, for me, this is one of the most important ones, is about performance. Uh, when I talk about performance, the first, I can strictly correlate it with user experience, because you can deliver some content as soon as possible while you are fetching secondary content for your customers. Um, the next image, this image shows the five stages of rendering. Uh, on a full client-side render application, uh, your customers will only see the content on the stage five, and this, this stage five can be like a couple of seconds. While on a server render application, your customers are able to see content on a stage three. So the ideal thing is to render the corner store content so your customers will be entertained with something while you fetch something else. And here, it's still talking about performance. It's important to take into account that performance matters, and it's a huge, huge thing for conversion rate. So horizontally, we have the, the the time an application takes to render, and the conversion rate vertically. So the more to the left, so the higher the performance, the higher the conversion rate of your application. Uh, it's also, when I found this, date, this is information, I, I was quite surprised. I, uh, on average, 0.2% of people out there have JavaScript disabled. And in some countries, this number can be pretty high, like 2.7%. So what if some of those customers, some of those people visit your website, and it's a full client-side render application? Probably they will see nothing but a blank page. So I'm not saying that your application should fully work without JavaScript, because that would be utopia. But probably you sh it should be great. It could be great if you could server some content so they would know what your business is all about. Uh, and as all concepts, all tools out, out there have their trade-offs, with server-side rendering, it's no different. Uh, here I have three things that I think are the most important ones in this case, it, which is the time to first byte is usually slower than on a client-side render application. This is why, because your server might be busy fetching content, parsing HTML, parsing your React components, um, well, then you might be thinking, well, but I can add a caching layer. But by adding a caching layer, we are basically increasing the complexity. And as we all know, there are only two hard things in the industry, which is caching validation and naming things. So still talking about complexity. Uh, well, it might be the case that you have to duplicate routes on both client and server. Maybe the way you fetch data from your APIs is different. So, and it also requires a different mindset. Probably the paradigms we are going to use it to develop a front-end application is going to be a little bit different than the ones you use it while you develop a full server-side rendered application. Uh, these were the thoughts I have to share with you, and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.